Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called racemic epinephrine, or it's also known as racemic epi, or even by its brand name, which is micronephrine. It falls under the class of sympathomimetics. It is a beta-2 agonist, and it promotes bronchial smooth muscle relaxation. It also antagonizes histamine action. Your indications are going to be croup, asthma attack, laryngeal edema, and laryngotracheal bronchitis. As always, before we get into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. To be honest, racemic epi is not a very common medication given to adults in the EMS setting, but there is a metered dose inhaler for adults. For the pediatrics under four years, it's going to be 0.25 milliliters of a 2.25% solution in three milliliters of normal saline, and this will be nebulized with oxygen. And pediatrics over four years, it, the only thing that changes is that it goes up to 0.5 milliliters. Adverse reactions can include, but aren't limited to restlessness, headache, dysrhythmias, chest pain, hypertension, tachycardia, nausea, and vomiting. Your contraindications are going to be extreme hypertension or severe tachycardia, also underlying cardiovascular disease, and epiglottitis. And your drug interactions. Racemic epi can potentiate MAOIs and bertillium, and the effectiveness of racemic epi may be reduced if the patient is taking beta blockers. A few side notes about racemic epinephrine. The onset is typically less than five minutes, but the peak effect is between 5 to 15 minutes. You want to monitor vital signs, and if you are able, you also want to do some cardiac monitoring. Excessive use of racemic epi may cause a bronchospasm, so just be aware of this. You also may have a strong rebound effect after this drug wears off. Racemic epi isn't a super common medication that's found on the ambulance or in the pre-hospital 911 EMS setting because of the price. So you don't see racemic epi in a lot of states, but there are still some states that carry it. Remember, Remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!